Hi everybody, my name is Jesus Doñez uh, GR. I live here in Owington, Kentucky, and today is December 1st, 2021, and today we're going to be talking about the Collox Conjecture 3S plus 1. Today I'm going to show you how to prove the Collox Conjecture step by step from the beginning to the end. I'm going to keep it real simple so anybody can understand it, and I apologize for my heavy accent um, from Mexico, so uh, um, I'll try to make it as, as easy for you to understand as possible. So the Collis conjecture says that uh, if you choose a positive number, a whole number, an integer, and you and it's odd, you multiply by three and you add one. If it's even, you divide it by two, and all the numbers will come back to one. I'm gonna add a link in the description so you can see what the Collis conjecture is all about, and and the other videos make a real good case of 3s plus 1 and show you everything you need to know and then you come back here to show you the proof you want to know the proof is true is, is false and the most important you want to see the step by step to get there so you understand that any 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 person will understand why uh, the conjecture is true and why it will never ever be false uh, I'll show you that in a minute okay so let's uh, do an example we got 3 and it's odd we multiply 3 by 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 is even, divided by 2 is 5, 5 is odd, we uh, multiply by 3, 15 plus 1, 16, 16, divided by 2 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 is an um, odd number, multiplied by 3 is uh, 4, 3 by 3, 3 by 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and we have this loop of 4 to 1. Okay. And that's what the conjecture do. It always gets to this loop. And to understand the the cause conjecture, I'm gonna break this video in three parts. The first one is I'm gonna show you where the conjecture come from, where the 3s plus one come from, and the second part is to show you the laws that governs 3s plus one, and laws and regulations that governs this world of 3s plus one. And at the end, I'm gonna show you once we understand where the 3s plus 1 come from and then we understand the laws then I'm going to show you uh, the proof uh, and you will see why the proof is so easy once you understand this so let's do that so to do that I'm going to ask myself a question what I need to do to bring all the numbers whole numbers integers to one as fast as possible when I said as fast as possible what I mean is in less steps that's that's all I want the numbers to go to one in the less steps possible. To do that, I'm gonna start with one. One, I multiply by one, it's one, good, that's the first number. And one multiplied by one, I do something else. I got the one and I make it two over two. Two over two is still one, so one multiplied by two, it gives us a number two, divided by two, it comes back to the source, which is one. Uh, great, so let's do the same thing with two. Two by one is two, so two, I multiply by 2, it gives us 4, divided by 2, it comes back to the source, and then we have 1, 2, and 4. I do the same thing with 4, 2 by 4, it gives us 8, divided by 2, comes back to the source, and then it gives us this sequence, and this sequence is the binary system. This 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, until infinity. And this uh, is very important. It begins with an odd number, which is 1, and continues to infinity. And then the next number that I need to talk about is number three. And three, we do exactly the same thing we did with number one. We multiply it by one. Three by one is three. And then we got that one and make it two over two. It's still one. Three by two give us number six. And six divided by two comes back to the source. We got six multiplied by two. It gives us 12 divided by two. It comes back to the source. And then we got this sequence of three. 2, 3, I mean 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and go back to the infinity. Good. So we have two sequence. Sequence that begins with 1 goes to infinity. Sequence that begins with 3 goes to infinity. If we do the same thing with 5, it's going to give us a sequence. 5, 10, 20, 40, and it goes to infinity. The same thing with 7, and 7, 14, 28, and then 9, 9, 18, 26. So we have these lines, these lanes, and I call them the freeways because uh, it comes back to the source it begins with an odd number and then you have a specific sequence and you get any numbers in that sequence divided by two it comes back to the source and that's very important the first number that we uh, choose was two 
the one, then we have two, and two we divide it by two and come back to the source. So that's the first rule. The first rule is that if we have a number and that number is is even divided by two, that's the first rule. Okay, good. The next one is we come back to the three. Between three doesn't have any connection between the three and the fast lane, which is uh, one. We don't have any connection between those two lines, the two lanes. So I need to find a way to connect the the freeway number three with the fast lane, the bullet train number one. To do that, I'm going to use a formula. And the formula is one x plus one. So let's see if it works. If we got three multiplied by one is three plus one is four. So now this three, it becomes four. And that allows us to get into the fast lane, the bullet train. And that's good, that's what we want. So this formula allows us to move from lane three to lane four, and that's excellent. So let's see. Uh, if it works with number five. So five is odd, we multiply the five by one is five, plus one is six, so good. It takes us to the uh, the lane number three, six divided by two, takes us to the source, which is three, and then three uh, multiplied by one is three, plus one is four, it takes us to four, four divided by two is two, and then two, one, and we come back to one, great. This system do exactly what we need. At this moment, one X plus one is doing one job and one job only. And that job is to convert the uh, odd number to an even number. That's what that's what it does. And this system is doing what I need to do to get all the numbers uh, with the less step possible to one. Good, now let's, let's see the rules and the laws that govern one X plus one. The first one is that binary numbers begin with odd number and extends to infinity. We agree with that. All the odd numbers expands to infinity. It begins with one and then three and then five and seven, nine and goes to infinity. Good, that's fine. Every sequence be with, begins with odd number and then expands uh, to infinity. And, and the sequence that follow number, the source, which is one or three or five, all the numbers that precedes that is unique. You are not gonna find any other number. Six is not going to repeat any other place. It's just unique to that sequence. And those sequences are parallel. That's another rule. The sequence uh, three, for example, freeway number three and freeway number five, they're parallel. They never cross. They, they don't have a number in common. They are separate. They never cross. That's very important. The moment that we divide a number by two, we set up a direction. And that direction is coming back to the source. You get, for example, uh, you got 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is the source. So at the moment that we pick an, a number, it goes back to the source. And if it's an odd number, we apply the root 1x plus 1 and take us to another lane uh, as, a, as, an, as an even number. This is another rule. You get out of a freeway in an odd number, and you, get, you enter a freeway as an even number, never the opposite. You, you cannot do it in the opposite way because if you are in, a, in an even number, you divide it by two. And the only one that you multiply one uh, by one plus one is the, the odd number. Good. When we have this, all these rules and regulations, now I'm gonna modify my statement. My statement says I want to have all the numbers to come to one as fast as possible, the less steps. Now I'm going to remove the fast as possible or less step. Now I want the numbers to come to one, but it doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how many steps it takes to get to one. If I do this, I open the door to complexity. When I said complexity, it just takes a little more steps to get to one. That's it, uh, when I say complexity. So one X plus one. The next level of complexity from one X plus one is three X plus one. Let's see if three X plus one do the same function as one is plus one. So let's, so in the system three S plus one is very interesting. We got number three, three by three is nine plus one is 10. And the system one X plus one, the whole function of this system is to convert the odd number to even number. And three S plus one, it do exactly the same thing. It's getting the, the odd number and convert it to even number. So let's see if the three S plus one uh, follow the same rules and, and do the same function. Let's see, for example, the, Three by, if we got the number three and we apply the formula three is plus one, three by three is nine plus one is 10, 10 divided by two, we have to divide it by two, it's the same rule as one is plus one. And 
the 10 divided by 2 is 5 and then 5 will multiply by 3 is 15 plus 1 16 16 divided by 2 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 and it comes back to this loop of 4 to 1 that we discussed from the, at the beginning great so basically 1x plus 1 and 3x plus 1 are doing exactly the same function which is get an odd number and make it an even number good so let's see if the rules that applies to 1x plus 1 applies to 3x plus 1. The binary number begins with odd number and extends to infinity? Yes, they, uh, they do. All the odd numbers expand to infinity? Yes, they do. Every sequence begins with odd number and has a specific sequence of numbers and those numbers never repeat? Yes, 6 you are not going to find any other place other than the beginning, the origin of 3 is part of the sequence. So the sequence never repeats, they are parallel never cross each other. This is very important. They never cross. That's good. Um, the moment that we divide the number by 2, an, an even number by 2, we send it back to the source. Yes, it's the same rule. And the numbers exit the freeway and enters another freeway. It will exit as an odd number and enters as an even number. Very important. Same rule. Good. Until this moment, uh, we find that the 3s plus 1 and 1s plus 1 is exactly the same thing. They do exactly the same functions. Great. So now let me show you something interesting about 3s plus 1. At this moment, we're going to talk about 3s plus 1. We just find out where, where is the source. The beginning of 3s plus 1 is 1s plus 1. 3s plus 1 is the next level of complexity of 1s plus 1. Good. So now I'm going to show you something very interesting at 3s plus 1. In 3s plus 1, there is some numbers in the binary system that is they are connected, directly connected to the, to the odd numbers. I'll give you an example, 16, for example. We got the formula 3x plus 1 equals 16, 3x equals 15, x equals 15 over 3, so x equals to 5. So you see that 5 is a direct connection to 16. Now let's see the next number in the binary from 16 is 32. So 32, we get 3x plus 1 equals 32. 30, uh, 3x equals to 31, and then x equals 31 over 3. So x equals to 10.333, and that's a fraction. And that fraction is, it doesn't help. It's not going to take us to number 1. Any fraction or, or decimal point is not going to take us to to number one. So we cannot use that. In the binary system, the 32 door is closed and 3x plus 1. And that door closed and opens another one, which is 64. 64, if we apply the, the formula, 3x plus 1 equals 64, then 3x equals 63, x, x equals 63 over 3, x equals 21. So 21 is a direct connection to 64. And the same thing happened with 85, is the direct connection to 256. And as you can see, as you go higher, and expanding the binary system to infinity and expanding the odd numbers to infinity, you start creating and you start seeing all these doors open to you, available to you to bring the numbers to one. And that's what uh, mathematicians see as a hell effect, that the numbers start increasing, increasing, and uh, increasing up and looks like it's going to get to infinity and suddenly, boom, goes to one. It drops to one. It's because of that you have too many doors, infinite numbers of doors available to you to bring that number to one. So either you bring, you go down to 16 and you bring the numbers through there, or you go to, uh, in this case, 21 or 85, and you continue having these doors available to you. So that's why the numbers always come back to one, is one of them. So for example, 27, it takes more than 100 steps. It looks like it's going to go to infinity, but in reality, it hits one of those doors available to you in the higher numbers, and then it comes com back to one. So let's see. There is two possible ways that this conjecture can be false. And one is that one number then shoots to infinity, goes to infinity. The second one is that you have a loop outside four to one and this loop they call it in the in the clouds because the numbers are extremely extremely big but let's explore alpha is if the numbers goes to infinity beta, beta is if the numbers get into a loop an external loop outside loop let's see uh beta why it's not going to happen why we are not going to have uh, a loop outside 
And the reason is very simple. Remember that we have a specific numbers in the sequence it begins with the odd number and you have a sequence that is specific. Those numbers never repeat. To find a loop, to create a loop, you need a beginning and that beginning has to be connected again. So you have to have two numbers and two different sequence. Let's say number six is gonna to have to be repeat someplace else. And that way, that it creates a loop. Then you have a point that is in common or the lines that are, they're parallel. Somehow they cross and then you they share the same number. If that's the case, then you have a loop outside the four to one. But it's not gonna happen because the, loop, the laws, the the laws that govern 3s plus 1 is not going to allow you to have another number. The numbers are unique in the sequence and the sequence begins with, begins with the odd number and then and then you got a sequence that goes to infinity and those numbers never repeats. Therefore, you cannot have any number that cross and therefore you can't have any loops. And that's one way to uh, reject the idea to have a loop is because the numbers don't ever repeat and the lines that begins with the odd number are parallel. Parallel, they never cross. So, by by doing this, we just eliminate the possibility to have a loop. The second one is the number that goes to infinity. As I showed you before, even if the numbers start increasing in three s plus one, increasing by three every time you get a number, you multiply it by three and add one. And then it, it make it make it look, make it sound. You you think that it, in one point in time it's gonna continue going to infinity because it's starting increasing a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand. But in reality, there's so many doors available to you to bring the number to one that is impossible. Now let's explore this a little more deeper. Let's say that I'm gonna change the sentence uh, the same way I asked myself the question in the beginning, what I need to do to bring the numbers to one. I'm gonna make the same question in 3s plus 1. What I need to do to get the numbers to infinity in 3s plus 1? And there's two possibilities. One, that the even numbers, remember that we divide the even numbers by 2 and then we send them to the source. To send them away from the source, instead of divided by 2, I need to multiply it by 2. So if I get an, an even number and multiply it by 2, I send it that number opposite direction to infinity. Uh, but if I do this, I destroy 3s plus 1. It's not 3s plus 1 anymore. That's one way. The other way is that we got the odd number and we make a formula that creates that odd number and make it another odd number. For example, we got uh, 2x plus 1. If we got 3 and multiply it by 2, is 6 plus 1 is 7. So that 3 becomes 7. And that 7, we apply the same formula again. 2 by 7, 14 plus 1, 15. So we start seeing that number going to infinity. Even, even if we got number 1, for example, we begin with 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So you see 1 becomes 3 and then it will continue going to infinity in the odd numbers. But if we do this, we destroy the, the world of 3s plus 1. It's not longer 3s plus 1. As you can see, this, re, re, this eliminates the possibility for a number to go to infinity. And the reason, the basically the main reason is because when we ask the question, what can I do to get the numbers to one? At that moment, that precise moment, we set up the rules of this world. These rules that bring all the numbers to one. It can be the opposite way. If we modify the formula, we destroy 3s plus one. The 3s plus one is designed by the way we design it. We decide when we ask the question to go to one and there's no other possible way. Now, you ask, many mathematicians start using the computer to try to find a number that goes to infinity, or I think it's wasting the time. They're wasting the time because you, you don't have the computer to check all the numbers. And the numbers, as you can see, you start checking the numbers, all the numbers will come back to one. Therefore, you check one and it goes to one and then two and then three and, and you continue this sequence of numbers and you will go into infinity. There's no time, you don't have enough time to check all the numbers. It's, it's gonna be running for millions and millions of years. It can, it can be fine. If you want to find, uh, I propose instead of looking for this, just check a number that repeats in any of the sequence. It's another way, but you will never gonna find a number that repeats in the sequence because begins in odd number and expands to infinity. So basically this this is it. This ends my presentation. Hopefully you understand why the Collis conjecture is true and always will be true. 
and it's impossible to be false and I really hope that somebody tell me Jesus you're wrong and this is the mistake and that's why nobody figured it out nobody find the proof for 80 something years and I hope that uh, that somebody tell me Jesus you're wrong it's not the first time it's not gonna be the last time so I hope that you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please put in the comments I read all the comments and hopefully you can tell me where is my mistake when I'm making my mistake in this and this way of thought and my procedure well thank you so much thank you for being with me I, it's a pleasure talking to you hope to see you next time have a wonderful day bye